A cell phone carrier charges a fixed monthly fee plus a constant rate for each minute used. So because of this, we can model the monthly cost equation using a linear equation in sloped intercept form. Part one, in January, the total cost for 250 minutes was $55. Well, in February, the total cost for 150 minutes was $53. We're asked to find the constant charge for each minute, and then part two, we're asked to find the fixed monthly fee charged by the carrier. To answer both of these questions, we'll find the cost equation in sloped intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of x, is equal to the slope, which represents the constant rate of change, which we're looking for in part one, and b, the constant term, is equal to the vertical intercept, which represents the initial or starting value or amount, which should be the fixed monthly fee. So by determining our cost equation in slope intercept form, we can answer both of these questions. To help us find the equation, though, let's write the given information as ordered pairs, where each ordered pair would be the number of minutes used, comma, the monthly cost in dollars. In January, the total cost for 250 minutes was $55, which would be the ordered pair 250, comma, 55. And then in February, the total cost for 150 minutes was $53, which would be the ordered pair 150, comma, 53. Now that we have two ordered pairs, we can determine the slope of the cost equation and then once we find the slope, we can determine B, the initial value, which will be the fixed monthly fee. Let's do this on the next slide. So again, our two ordered pairs are 150 comma 53 and 250 comma 55. To find the slope, we can use the formula here where the slope is equal to the change of Y divided by the change of X, or in our case, the slope is going to be equal to the change in the cost divided by the change in the minutes. But to keep things organized, let's call this ordered pair x sub one comma c sub one, and we'll call this ordered pair x sub two comma c sub two, where we'll let x be equal to the number of minutes used, and we'll let c be equal to the monthly cost in dollars. The only difference in our slope formula is that we would have c sub two minus c sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one. So c sub two minus c sub one would be 55 minus 53 divided by x sub two minus x sub one would be 250 minus 150. So we have two divided by 100, which would be 0 0.02. And because this is measuring the change in cost divided by the change in minutes, the slope is telling us that the rate of change is $0.02 per minute. So going back to our question, for part one, we now know the constant charge for each minute used is 0 0.02, and again, the units would be $0.02 per minute. And because we're finding the cost equation in the form C equals MX plus B, we now know M equals 0 0.02, so our equation must be in the form C equals 0.02X plus B. Now remember B is the initial or starting amount, which in this case would be the fixed monthly cost. So to determine the value of B, we'll perform substitution using one ordered pair for X and C, and then solve for B. It doesn't matter which ordered pair we use. Let's just go ahead and use this first ordered pair, 150, comma, 53. So we'll substitute 150 for x, 53 for c, and then we can solve for b. So we would have 53 equals 0 0.02 times 150 plus b. Well, 0 0.02 times 150 is equal to 3. So we have 53 equals 3 plus B. Subtracting 3 on both sides, we have B equals 50. So the question doesn't ask, but now we know our cost equation is C equals 0.02X plus 
50. Where again, 50 is the fixed monthly fee or monthly cost. Notice how if x equals zero, meaning zero minutes are used, the monthly cost is still going to be $50. So going back to our question, the fixed monthly fee charged by the carrier is $50. So for the fee here, we enter 50. Now the units would be in dollars, but our homework question does not ask us to enter the units. But if it did, we would enter dollars. I hope you found this helpful.